place here. This is going to be long. Oh, it's only 20 minutes so far. I'm a third of the way through, so I guess we're going on an hour. It depends. Oh, long sentences, dude. Um, I wanted to get rid of out of nothing, it seems. Okay. And my following it has correlated with improvement in my mental health. And I suggested that was a good thing. And I suggested that I'm not actually destroying you, but I'm making you stronger, didn't I, Adam? So I have reason to prefer mine over yours. I have reason to think my method is, enables you to even have a philosophy. It works for me, yours does not. I know, I know, you could not conceive of mine. I am not trying to get you to have mine. I want you to have one that makes you feel better and mentally healthy. But in my book, that would include realizing eugenics is evil, racism is stupid, you know, and so on. I don't really care whether you believe in Theo the God or not. It depend, I, like, it, it's more like what kind of a God is Theo that's more important to me. Like I, Some of my favorite people of the last uh, quarter century are, were theists, the, the liberation theologists. Okay, so become a Catholic, move to South America and become a liberation theologist like the Pope. Okay, I can't believe we've got a Jesuit Pope. Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I happen to be not, I do not use theism in my reasoning, but that doesn't mean I prefer atheist to theist. There's a little more to it. It has to do with character and these values I keep mentioning that you had not heard of before, probably. Okay. The fact that my philosophy affects you so proves that it is not nothing. It presses against your weak spot. Yeah, everybody thinks that if you um, complain or get angry about something, they've, they've touched your button, it's your weak spot. Actually, no, it, it, this is my, I'm practicing my therapeutic methods on you, Adam. And I'm doing so openly and honestly. And you have to decide for yourself if you're really diagnosable, if you should really be self-medicating on the internet. But if you are, and you're going to put, uh, you know, you're going to come to Dr. Pirro, then you're going to, you know, it might hurt a little. <laughs> because I have seen your better side. I know when you are fallen, when something is up with you. I wish you well is all. Oh, that's why you, t that's why you were like, you were such, you lie to yourself, okay, Adam. I see your beautiful nature. Well, that's probably true. Uh, I hope you learn to make your criticality work with me. <laughs> yeah, someday I hope my criticality works with my beauty. <laughs> Seek the integration of all that is you and you will be happier. Well, I think these sound like things I've told you. I do not think, I think you're learning. I do not think it is all imagination. I try to draw circles. Everything is imagination about reality. Um, I try to, it's, it's all information. I try to draw circles around my thought, but thought is bigger than me. I am managing an enterprise inside and is larger than me. It is mountainous, encyclopedias of knowledge. See, the difference between me and you is when I was in my craziest times, even though I had a kind of opinionated egotism, I always felt like, you know, uh, Carl Sagan, you know, just a speck of dust. In the, in the infinitude. Um, so uh, I think that saved me from as thorough of an egotism as you're caught in and it's really tragic and I would like you to get out of it because maybe you could be a beautiful a spiritual painter. But right now you're just a you know eugenic sympathizing uh, maybe racist. Um, you say, I do have respect for people. I just do not respect when people act lesser than they can be. I respect their yanking. <laughs> this is the part that annoys me. This is the part why I go, ah, snap, pow, because mm, it's just annoying. I do not seek to impose, but hopefully show you the better side. And if I am mistaken, if there is a gem in the dirt, so be it. I will try to broaden my understanding if possible. This is, see, to me, this is like where the gear goes. You're, you're going, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Get, get all of the processed half information out, and then your brain goes, and you're one notch better. Six, 
While we may discover truth on our own, to ensure we are not trapped in a bubble, we must interact with others or use some external meter. So it takes at least two critical souls to find truth or we risk living inside our bubbles. I am not out to convert you, although you seem to do that. I just want to enhance your signal. You do not realize how it is received. By you, I first of all, I do understand how it is received very well to a far higher degree than you will probably ever become capable of. I would guess. And two, you're talking about how you receive it. You, you're just one person. Not everybody receives it the same or gets the same signal. I'm just trying to direct you to transmit clearly and improve your cooperation. No, you're trying to get me to, to be less honest. I am trying to impart to you a bit of my innate wisdom. Well, how's that working out for you? I think that perhaps that you have the honorary papers and medals, you are too proud to take my advice to consider it. It would be too much of a dishonor to take it. I think you would rather be fooled sometimes. How you treat people when you first meet them is the way to treat people and to recognize their beautiful nature and meet it with harmony and understand them as they are too. I suppose I am learning too. Well, see, I know I've exposed myself to this. Uh, because for years I didn't say anything. It's just after a while of talking about logic and trying to instruct people, it's like, no, here's what classical logic... See, I have something that's contrary to classical logic, and then I argue my thing, and then people are like, they, they, I have to be able to say, no, here's class, here's what the other, here's what academia thinks. So it was only honest to say. And so, yeah, it's, gonna, it's just coming out. And I don't think I have that many honorary papers and medals that I... Uh, rely on my philosophy degree and I work as a programmer and but yeah you know what I actually have achieved some intellectual accomplishments in my life okay I you haven't I guess that makes us equal I find you to be an interesting person and it is not everywhere I will find someone who might just a little understanding my metaphors I, I do that's why you keep coming back that might act halfway decent, I have acted three quarters decent. And you have, we are two winds interacting, creating eddies and current. No. No. I am the wind. You are the sand dune. I'm sorry for not knowing how best to be with you, but you are not perfect nor consistent yourself. I am consistent. I'm not perfect. I am very consistent. You cannot survive yourself. Yes, I can. If I bring to you you, you will be frightened of what you see. Like when hearing what your voice really sounds like, it might surprise you to get the upside perspective. No, I do know. And I've spent a long time in my life trying to back off and let other people do it. And they do not appreciate the room to create structure and, and they also do not create structure in that space. Okay. We're all different. It is not a matter of level. It is a matter of relevance. Okay. Don't say that I lie when what I said matched what I felt. Your, your feelings lie. I understand the tangles of my own thought. No, you don't. You've come to me to try to understand them. And if you struggle or do not struggle, as long as you come here, I will help you understand them. If you do not have the strength to see them, you should walk away. It is not easy being consistent and complete. Sometimes I need to let the pieces be until I can clear the confusion and find the system of my mind on the matter. I will try to respect who you are as you are if you can do the same in return. I can't promise that. Listen to your own heart, not just the outside sources. Listen to yourself as well. I just hate it when you start trying to be my gurus. That's what's really going on. You want to be my guru. And I refuse to be your guru. But I will help you become mentally stronger in reason. And, and emotional reason. It's, it's all emotional reason. There is no other kind of reason, okay? The cat's out of the bag. The only kind of, of reasoning is emotional reasoning. You can put extra criteria on your emotional reasoning and make it logically coherent. It's still emotional. That's where it comes from. That's how there's no escaping. Will. Will is a series of emotional uh, transactions. Be open, always, even if you think I am lying and whatnot. Keep the interaction going, not just with me, but anyone. Truth is a function of the process. Stop telling me what to do, Adam. And when I get very bored of you, I will stop talking to you. And that is 
likely to happen shortly after I warn you that I find something ridiculously, unacceptably tedious. Relations come from the continuing process. They're statistical anomalies. Now you're talking about statistics and shit. Just, you still believe in the st static universe. No, I believe in a dynamic universe. 